In the last video, I covered how to use the main menu and widget menus in GNS. In this video, I'll be showing you how to perform a standard search with a country filter applied in the main search interface. First, you want to make sure that the main search interface is visible. If it's not, click on the magnifying glass in the blue toolbar located in the upper right corner. If the search interface still does not appear, refer to the first video for some troubleshooting tips. The first section under Name Search has a free text field where you can enter the place name you wish to search. After you've entered the name, you must click the plus sign to add it to your search. When you do, you'll see that the count column changes from 0 to 1. Your text string will also appear below the search box, and there will now be five additional buttons added to this section of the interface. These buttons allow you to do an exact search on the text string you've entered, or to search for it at the start, end, or anywhere it appears in the word. The default selection is starts. You can add multiple text strings to your search by repeating this process. GNS will treat this as an OR Boolean search and return the results for both strings. The X button allows you to remove the item from your search altogether, and you'll need to do this or click one of the reset options when you wish to start a new search. Just a quick note that the name search field now accepts two wildcard characters. The asterisk can be used to replace multiple characters in a search string, and a question mark can be used to replace a single character. You can also search on names with diacritics or in non-Latin scripts such as Cyrillic and Japanese although I haven't tested to see whether searches containing non-Latin characters return results consistently, or if there are issues with non-Unicode characters. Now that we've added a text string to our search, to perform the search itself, you'll need to click Query and Display Data at the bottom of the main search interface. In this case, you'll see that it's popped up a warning that you can perform a faster search by adding a country filter, which is generally something you'll want to do. As you begin to type the country name, you'll see a list of auto-suggestions. You'll need to click on your selection or press Enter to add the country filter to your search. If it's been successfully added, you'll see the count column number change from 0 to 1. As with the name search section, you can enter multiple countries. If you have a city that you know is in the former country of Czechoslovakia, but are not sure whether it's currently located in Czechia or Slovakia, you can add both terms, and you'll see that the count increases to 2. If you click the blue arrow next to the country filter, you'll see that you can also add countries to your search by browsing and clicking on boxes. Once you've added your country filters, you'll need to click the Query and Display Data button to run your search. This should return a results list. If you do not see a results list, Make sure that the list is expanded and viewable by clicking on the black arrow at the bottom center of the map window. When you are ready to perform a new search, you can click on the reset button in each individual section. This is useful if you only want to remove some of the filters or search strings and reuse the rest. You can also click on reset all at the bottom of the search interface to start a new search from scratch. In the next video, I'll go over using the search results and how you can open a more user-friendly summary for each result.